The Aviator's Wife by Melanie Benjamin was published in 2013. The story revolves around Anne Morrow Lindbergh, a talented writer and aviator who often lived in the shadow of her famous husband, Charles Lindbergh. The narrative begins in 1974, as Anne sits beside her dying husband on a plane, anticipating his imminent passing, reluctant to bid farewell to the complex and enduring relationship they shared. She lowers the window shade, reflecting on their life together, and embarks on a journey back in time to the momentous day when she first encountered Charles Lindbergh. We are transported to the year 1927, where a 21-year-old Anne finds herself at a crossroads. As the daughter of a United States ambassador and a senior at Smith College, she contemplates her future and grapples with her place in both her family and the world. In her perception, her sister Elizabeth is the epitome of beauty, while her brother Dwight is the favored one in their father's eyes. Even her younger sister Khan effortlessly charms everyone she encounters. Meanwhile, Anne has always felt like the awkward, peculiar, and painfully shy one in comparison. As the novel progresses, we delve into Anne's transformative journey, witnessing her growth and the development of her own identity. Beyond the shadow of her family and society's expectations, throughout the narrative, readers witness her evolving relationship with Charles Lindbergh, who plays a significant role in shaping her life. Benjamin's skillful storytelling allows us to witness Anne's struggles, triumphs, and self-discovery as she navigates a world that often dismisses her unique qualities. During her Christmas break from school, Anne accompanies her family to the embassy in Mexico City where she unexpectedly crosses paths with the renowned aviator Charles Lindbergh. Suspecting her parents' intentions to matchmake Charles with her sister Elizabeth, Anne consciously tries to remain inconspicuous and avoid drawing attention to herself. However, Anne's presence captivates Charles, and he invites her on a private flight in his plane. To her delight, she discovers that behind his legendary status, Charles is both enchanting and reserved. As they maintain contact, their bond strengthens, leading to their marriage in May 1929 at Anne's parents' home in New Jersey. As Anne embarks on her new role as a celebrity wife, she is confronted with the overwhelming reality of constant media scrutiny. Even the most ordinary aspects of their lives become public fodder. Balancing the demands of their public image, Anne also grapples with Charles's specific expectations of her. He imposes particular requirements for the management of their household and expects her to obtain a pilot's license enabling her to accompany him on his trips as a co-pilot. Rising to the challenge, Anne not only earns her license, but also sets several aviation records, carving her own path in the world of aviation. Despite her love for flying, Anne's desire to become a mother grows stronger. With the birth of her son, Charlie, she longs for a quieter and more private life, away from the constant scrutiny of the public eye. However, her dreams are shattered when tragedy strikes, and 20-month-old Charlie is kidnapped. The Lindbergh kidnapping becomes a global sensation, and the devastating discovery of Charlie's body months later leaves Anne profoundly wounded. In the following months, Anne discovers she is pregnant again, and she gives birth to her son John, who is followed by three more sons and two daughters. Anne wholeheartedly embraces her role as a mother, dedicating herself to her children, despite Charles's insistence that she continue flying with him. Charles resumes his aviation achievements setting records and embarking on a new career as an aviation consultant, which frequently takes him away from home. 
Their time apart strains their relationship, and each reunion requires a delicate process of readjustment, and finds solace in their shared experiences as copulates in the skies, believing that their relationship thrives there, on the ground. However, their connection becomes increasingly challenging to maintain. As the world plunges into the Second World War, Charles's controversial support for Germany and Adolf Hitler draws attention, and writes a booklet expressing her agreement with Charles's stance, advocating for a pact between the U.S. and Nazi Germany a decision she would later regret. As the American government distances itself from the Lindberghs due to their dangerous views, Anne and Charles relocate with their children first to England and then to France. During the 1930s, Anne turns to writing, chronicling her aviation adventures and travels with her husband. Her 1955 book, Gift from the Sea, is hailed as a masterpiece by readers and critics alike, becoming a bestseller in the realm of nonfiction. In 1939, the family returns to the United States. Despite the turbulence and extramarital affairs that plague their relationship, Anne and Charles remain married until Charles's death in 1974 on the island of Maui. Anne comes to recognize the significance of her multifaceted role as a devoted wife, a nurturing mother, a partner to an aviation legend, an accomplished aviatrix, and a renowned writer. Her life embodies that of a true Renaissance woman, leaving an indelible mark on history.